course he didn't listen to me. For James, one world title was enough. He had proved what he needed to prove. To himself and anyone who doubted him. And two years later, he retired. When I saw him next in London, seven years later, me as champion again, him as broadcaster, he was barefoot, on a bicycle, with a flat tire, still living each day like his last. When I heard he died aged 45 of a heart attack, I wasn't surprised. I was just sad. People always think of us as rivals. But he was among the very few I liked. And even fewer that I respected. He remains the only person I envied.